What's going on, you guys? So I was going through Pocket Tactics today, and I discovered this little nugget of a news item, and it just kind of <laughs> it kind of rocked my world a little bit. So I knew Playdeck was had an unannounced title that they were uh, working on from GMT's uh, gaming catalog, and it looks like that gaming uh, is Fort Sumter. So yeah this was huge so i'm just gonna jump jump right into it so pocket tactics playdex seems to be recovering from whatever it was that was affecting them a year or so ago when all was quiet and we were generally concerned for their future case in point they've just announced another project as part of their long-standing strategic partnership with physical war game publisher gmt games we already know they were working on a port of labyrinth war on terror 2001 to now uh, but today they've announced they're also working on a digital port of fort sumter for pc and mobile devices fort sumter there's a fast-paced card-driven game based around the historical events that led to the start of the American Civil War. It is not a war game. There are no troops to command, and the game doesn't even technically cover the American Civil War itself. So it looks like it's also coming to PC right there. Instead, it attempts to model the political struggle in the days and weeks leading up to the initial siege of the four by the Confederate force, which kicked off the Civil War. It's a card-driven strategy game with very limited actions and a lot of tough choices to make. You can read what our own Matt Troller, Troller? <laughs> my apologies if I screwed that up, thought of the physical game in this article, and you can read a little bit more there. Uh, oh, your goal is to have more cubes than your opponent in all three spaces of the game set on the, of the same aspect, earning you a point. But there are catches to keep the game interesting. Most notably, it penalizes players for adding too many cubes too fast. Historically, this models the way that taking up extreme positions both the track and repel aspects of public opinion. But it's also a clever route to game balance like Twilight Struggle's Def Contract. Love that game. Shuffling cubes among board spaces doesn't sound like a historical game. And the first time you play, it's unlikely to feel like one. You'll read cards, match some symbols on the board, and write out the half-hour playtime like a f fantasyful abstract. But you'll have a good time because like any good abstract for something is full of fun decisions. We don't really know anything more at this point. Playdeck has confirmed it's coming to PC, iOS, and Android, but no word on timings yet. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. So you know, we're gonna expect something like this, kind of matching up the cards, and you got like these uh, cubes there. So the game is gonna seem a little bit like this. Yeah, this works. I really like this. I uh, I could see this working on the mobile platform. I really can't wait to, uh, oh, I like this. I've never played Fort Sumter on uh, the board game, but something tells me I'm going to definitely pick it up on the mobile platform here. So overall, guys, this is really exciting news. I can't wait till this game comes out. I love the partnership that Playdeck has with uh, GMT. And if you're find, trying to find out more about this partnership, uh, I actually did an interview with them on the podcast I do with the Historical Gamer on Single Malt Strategy. It's available on Apple Podcasts, uh, as well as um, Spreaker and a bunch of other uh, uh, podcast platforms. So go check that out. I'll put the link in the show notes, in the notes below. Uh, but yeah, can't wait for it. Good news. Want to see more? Can't wait for it to come out. All right. Catch you on the flip side.